you know, from local politicians and faith leaders. Many people are addressing this hostage situation on Twitter tonight. And Representative Mark Vesey says he knows the rabbi and his family well, and he's praying for the safety of all the congregants who may be inside. Jason Whiteley talked to him by phone just a minute ago. I know the rabbi, I know, know his wife uh, very well. Our, our kids used to play together when they were young at, uh, on Saturdays at play dates. Just a really great family. And so just really praying that this uh, is resolved uh, peacefully. Charlie's a great guy, um, really down to earth guy. Um, uh, uh, he and his wife are um, um, just, you know, people that, that care about other cultures. His wife works at the Multicultural Alliance, which is an organization that uh, works to bring people of different faiths together uh, to promote uh, peace uh, and justice and well being uh, for people uh, and to bring people together um, in spite of their differences. Uh, and I remember when they first came to Tarrant County, um, it was probably somewhere around, uh, 2004, 2005 or so. Uh, and, uh, and they have just been really in involved with the community, uh, ever since. And, uh, the, con the, the, the synagogue that he leads there is one of the, one of the smaller synagogues, uh, in, in Tarrant County, as you know, the larger synagogues are in Fort Worth and in Dallas. Uh, but, uh, Charlie really, you know, hit the ground running. Uh, with uh, and 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 worked just you know all the time uh, to really get things going uh, well there, and so I hate that he's having to go through this right now. Uh, and again, just hope uh, that everyone makes it out safely. Pray, praying for everyone there.